Assalam Alaikum and welcome to Easy Coding with Amara. And in this video, I will show you how to create a coding app in Flutter. So before starting, first of all, I will tell you this is my website. And in this website, I upload almost all the codes related to different programming languages. So if you need any help from this website, you can check the description and I provide the link of this website in the description box. So if you scroll down, you can see that this is the section of categories and uh, here in this category section, all the programming languages code is present like Android, C, C++, C hash, Angular and much more. So you can check this website, okay? And now I will show you demo app which we are going to create. So when I click on this app, this type of supply screen is open in front of you and in this supply screen I create an image, text view and this load button, okay? After that, this type of view is open in front of you and uh, in this view I create a tab layout and in this tab layout I create three options for the user. One is post, second is category and the third one is video. So in this post section I create a list view. And in this list view, the data is coming from my this website, okay? So I fetch data from my website and show the data in this list view, okay? And when someone click on the, this specific item of this list view, suppose I click on tab layout on Flutter, this post is open in the website. So yes, I click on this tab layout in Flutter. You can see that that post tab layout in flutter is open okay this post is related to tab layout in flutter so yes now i click on back after that when someone click on this category section this type of view is open in front of you and you can see that this data is coming after some times because this data is coming from real time file base okay so yes, here I created this horizontal layout list and here I create the list view which is vertical, okay. In this horizontal list view, I provide all the categories related to different programming languages like Python, Android, C++, C and Flutter. So yes, when someone click on this C image, all the codes related to C is appear here, okay. And similarly, when someone clicks on this C++ button, all the codes related to C++ is appear in this vertical list view. Similarly, when someone clicks on Android, all the codes related to Android is open in this list view. Okay? So, yes. Now, I click on this Flutter image and all the codes related to Flutter is open. So yes, if user clicks on some uh, option here, so if I click on list view in Flutter, all the codes related to list view is open and in this view, I create this title, this link for the video. So if someone want to view the uh, video related to list view in Flutter, so then click on this click me text view, okay? So when I click on this, YouTube is open and that video related to list view is open. Okay. So the video related to list view is open. After that, this is the section of code. Here I upload code related to list view in Flutter. And this is the image. This image is basically for the output. Okay. So I show the output of list view in Flutter here. Okay. So yes, this is the simple layout. Now I click on back. Similarly, all the when I click on C++, the code related to C++ is open and when I click on this C++, the same layout is re repeated but this is for C++, okay? For now, up, for now, I upload the default data, okay? So, I click on back. And now, I click on this video section. In this section, I provide all the categories of programming languages like C, C++, Python, Android, Flutter. Basically, this is the section of videos. That's why I 
title this video when i when someone clicks on this python button all the links related to python video is open so these are the links python dictionary variable function so when i click on some print hello world button sorry link the video is open okay yes so yes this is basically for the video section and now you are surprised from where all the data is coming so yes this is an other app which is admin app i created and admin upload all the data related to the links so all the data in this category section and in this video section is uploaded uploaded by the admin app okay so now i show you the admin app so this is the admin app this is the first page admin app where admin uh, select the programming languages c c++ python android flutter uh, write the topic name code and link and then select the image when someone clicks on this select image it's uh, ask for the permission after allow it's open the gallery okay and select the image and after that i click on this submit button so i if i show you the database this type of database is created by the admin code image image link uh, language links and topic okay and from here admin upload the post of some specific programming languages and when admin click on this plus button this is the option for uploading the link and i upload the link here youtube video links okay and this link is related to this video's link okay yes so when i click on open this here i upload the language link and topic 3 attributes okay and for now that's it for admin app and when the with the passage of time i, I upload more options for the user and after that when i click on this app i create a drawer layout this type of drawer layout and this is the header and this is the body section and for now i did not do anything for by clicking on this button okay and with the passage of time i upload more functionalities in this app okay so yes that's it for this app for now and now let's open a project in flutter for the supply screen and in this video i create a supply screen and in the upcoming videos i create further topics so i created a, pro, a new project which is coding app okay and i remove all the default code which is present in this page so you can do it by removing all the codes and make the main dot dot page like this and now i create a new package coding app and in this package i create two files dot file one for supply screen and i import the material flutter basically this is the library where all the widgets are present so you can import it and stateful class and i name it splash screen 1 after that i create an other dot file which is main page and import the same library and now for the supply screen i open this file 
and include the dependency for supply screen here. But make sure you don't give any space here, okay? Come to the main order and press Ctrl S and this type of get dependencies is appear in front of you. Click on this get dependencies and it executed successfully. Now copy the supply screen and call it in the main and import this supply screen from here, okay? Make sure you import the class supply screen, not the supply screen library, okay? And now we are going to create supply screen. So yes, click on this supply screen and import the supply screen library. Yes, first attribute is second, so it is up to you how much second you want to wait for the supply screen. I write five time five seconds. So when the time is finished, where you want to move, so I want to move in main page. Press Alt, Enter and import this main page. I give the title coding app and provide here some styling. After that, I write for image and for image you have to create an asset folder. So click on this and right click on this and create a directory and name is asset. And copy any image, um, image from your laptop and paste this uh, in asset folder. So click on asset and control V. Okay, so now this image is present in asset folder. Click on this file. So I give the path of this image here like acids backslash pg dot jpg. Now I select Android from here and open the supply screen. Click on get dependencies. So sorry, click on this file again and cut it here from here and you can see here is the acid section, paste it here. So cut from here and write 
as seeds backslash be like here and now again select the android open the reply screen so again this type of error is come and i think i make a mistake uh, so yes i make mistake like yeah first of all we write here acid and now give some space here and now click on get dependencies So yes, this is executed successfully, okay. Amy dot acid and here I give the path acids backslash bg dot jpg, okay. After that I change the background color. And after that, I resize the photo size 100. And if you want some, when someone clicks on the supply screen and some messages appear, so you can use the on click method. Print hello splash. And in the last, I change the color of loader button. So yes, I think that's it for the supply screen. And we have done the supply screen. Now I click on this run button. So this type of supply screen is open and after 5 seconds this man page is open as you know that the color of the screen is black by default ok. In the next video I change the color. So that's it for this video and if you like the video please like comment and subscribe and share with your friends. Inshallah in the next video will we proceed further. Allah Hafiz.